What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the God Hoods Billionaire. Welcome to Hoods Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about um, disturbing the PCO um, and manager Shaka Zulu arrested on murder charges and aggravated assault. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, so it was announced that Shaka Zulu went ahead and turned himself in. He also bonded himself out in the same day. Um, on murder charges um, and assault, um, I believe also as well. Now, this is stemming from a shooting back in June. Um, pretty much what happened was uh, four guys ended up jumping Shaka. Um, they said it was four assailants. They ended up jumping him. He also got shot in the back during that scuffle with the four assailants. Um, so he discharged um, from what um, his lawyer released a um, legal he had a legal right, uh, legal firearm that was in his name, had his concealed to carry, um, and he ended up shooting one of the guys and killing one of the guys. He shot one and just in self-defense, and then he shot another, and the other one died. Um, this was in self-defense. Um, he's saying that he's pretty, pretty, uh, his lawyer released a statement pretty much saying that they're upset that, you know, charges were even being brought. There's plenty of video evidence, plenty of evidence that shows that he was jumped by four guys that were kicking him and punching him on the ground. Um, and he was able to get to his firearm, firearm, pull out his firearm, shot one guy, injured one guy, shot another guy, ended up killing the guy. You know what I'm saying? That's unfortunate. I'm praying for everybody involved in this situation, transition in peace. Um, now, what do I think about this? Um, First and foremost, like I tell you guys all the time, protecting yourself is your right. You have the right to bear arms. You have the right to protect yourself in any and all situations. That's why I'm not with the jumping shit. Y'all jumping this man, you know what I'm saying? Four or five niggas and somebody end up getting shot. Another man end up losing his life. That's the type of shit that ends up happening when you jump somebody. You feel what I'm saying? Because when you jump somebody, you can't control that situation. If it's just... You and another person in a head up fade, chances are a nigga not finna beat you to death. You know what I'm saying? Like by itself, he can control that. You know what I'm saying? Just knock you out, whatever, and just let you be, help you up, whatever. When it's four people, you can't control that situation. There's a good chance they're gonna do some bodily harm to you. Bodily harm was done to him. Like I said, he was getting kicked, punched in the ground, he got shot in the back. You see what I'm saying? So he had to do what he had to do from what it from what's being the information that's being presented. It just seems like he was just trying to defend himself, get guys up off of him. He let a couple shots off and then some guys got hit and one ended up passing away. You know what I'm saying? So that's the type of stuff that comes with that situation. And he was at his place of business. You know what I'm saying? He was at his place of business when it happened. I don't know exactly what the what the scuffle was over. Um, that hasn't been reported, but from everything that I have heard and the reports that have come out from the news, sounds like he was perfectly in the clear um, to protect himself. You feel what I'm saying in this situation? So, you know, it is what it is. I'm sure his lawyer, like I said, his lawyer said he was disappointed. He released a statement talking about the situation. Um, and, and it just sounds like one of them situations where, Hey, he gonna have to go to court. It was in Fulton County, same place, same county, Young Thug, YSL, um, same place, YFN. All them guys is fighting the Rico cases. So, don't know if this is, you know, the DA over there trying to prove something, or I don't know. But from everything that's been brought out and about in regards to the information in this case, he had every right to protect himself. Now, you know, I'm praying for the young man that lost his life, praying for his family. Um, and also praying for everybody involved. You know, Shaka Zulu is the longtime manager of rapper Ludacris, um, also a co-owner of Disturbing the Peace Records. Um, so he's been a music exec in the in the industry for a really long time. Um, everybody that speaks on him pretty much says he's a really peaceful guy, really humble guy, really nice guy. Um, so whatever the situation was, the man protected himself, protected his business. And I'm pretty sure from what it sounds like, this case is going to get dropped. You know what I'm saying? Because from what I'm hearing, this guy's a pillar of the community in Atlanta. Um, always been a great citizen, has done a lot for the city of Atlanta. So from what I'm hearing, I believe they're going to drop this. You know what I'm saying? I believe this case is going to be dropped. I believe whatever the reason, the motivation was, I don't know if it's political motivation or whatever the motivation behind this case was, or them giving him them charges, 
I, I, you know, I don't think it's going to stick. I don't think this is going to be something that goes to a trial or I don't think he's going to have to take no time. I just think this is going to get dropped. I think they're going to drop this particular case and everything will go on about his way. You know what I'm saying? He already rich and is successful. He got ludicrous behind him, rich and successful. They're going to have the best lawyers. Like, it's not, he not going nowhere, so. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation, man. Was he right? Was he wrong? Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. Also, don't just be coming to the page and getting free game, man. Like, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Go on and be a subscriber. Be a billionaire. This billionaire lifestyle not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? If you're a billionaire, this is the page for you. If you got a billionaire mindset, this is the page for you. If not, I respect it and it's, it's salute to you anyway. You know what I'm saying? I wish everybody positivity on their journey, man. It's the God who's being there. Big favor, big abundance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. This the God who's being there. Big favor, big abundance. I'm gone.